A lot of my work is really encouraging myself and other people to think about framing and their capacity to frame things. But I really was thinking a lot about how advertising is the most ubiquitous language in the world and how I could maybe talk about things that advertising couldn't responsibly talk about by kind of taking logos, which I think are our generation's hieroglyphs, to talk about um, issues that are often not really necessarily associated. And so I started to really look more closely at, at other images. I do this thing that I called unbranding. By removing the advertising text, I realized that you see what's really being sold, which are often stereotypes and generalizations about who these quote unquote people are. Did one image for every year from 1915 to 2015. We forget about the technology of beauty that became popular in the 1920s as a way for women who were recently liberated into voting um, to kind of assert their their agency. And so I started to really I became really fascinated with this timeline of American history that goes through World War II and World War One where the militarization becomes something that's sexy. You, you, and so, so this this kind of thing that we can learn through advertising about our place in society. Our subconscious is the producer of these images. They're a reflection of a society's hopes and dreams at any given moment in time. But this idea of uniformity, this idea of who belongs where in our society is something that's everywhere. And so you start to see this violence that happens, that was happening on the streets to African-Americans. It happened to quote unquote white women in their houses through the images that they were buying to become seen as like respectable people. This project is really about asking myself and others to really think about the successes that we see now, same sex, uh, couples maybe being celebrated or seen to be able to love in public, but also the way that we look back at American history through our ads. I studied photography because I loved being in a dark room. I loved the fact that I knew something that nobody else knew. And maybe two years later, the first digital cameras came out. And by 2003, everything I learned in college was irrelevant. And so all I was left with was a critical eye and critical thinking about images. There's more pictures taken in a second than any of us can make sense of in our entire lives. And so maybe some people's job should be to look at the stuff that we're producing so that we can actually not just go mindlessly forward. Who are we? Um, in a society that looks back at the horrors of the past um, with shame, but not do necessarily enough in the present. And so that's why I think of it really not necessarily about me being an artist, but me being a person, about me taking the things that I think about and trying to manifest them into reality.